If this video gets to 10,000 likes, I will buy this shoe, wear it in a fit pick, and I'll wear it to the next sneaker con and come on. It's the same shoe. What's going on guys, if you guys are new here, I'm Yeezy Busta. If you guys have been around, appreciate you as always. And uh, is there any point in me even apologizing for not posting for a couple weeks? Yeah. And before we dive into today's video, I have to let you guys know that today we have a beautiful sponsor, Fantasy Sneaker League. Now, Fantasy Sneaker League is a game. It's an app on your phone that you can download. It's a super fun game for all sneaker heads, hype beasts, and uh, pretty much everyone who's watching this video. You can play with your friends, celebrities, YouTubers, and people from all over the world to actually win real prizes, including cash, and sneakers. Now me looking on the app right now, you can win some clay Yeezys, some dunks, and some cash prizes. So I mean, what are you guys waiting for? Download the app, it's the first link in the description and go check it out. You can win those prizes and a lot more, including off-white sneakers, Yeezy sneakers, Supreme, and a lot more. And they're legit too. Make sure you guys download the game and play against me. I'm just a Yeezy Busta on there, so go check me out. And let's see who can get to the top of the global leaderboard. And the best part is the app is free, so you guys have nothing to lose. Make sure you guys go download it on the iTunes App Store or the Google Play Store. For the last three days, I've been on this for like six hours at a time. I know it's completely time consuming, but I mean, it's a step off from Fortnite, so. Anyway, guys, make sure you guys click the first link in the description, download the app, play against me and all your friends. It'll be super fun. And uh, I'll see you in there. And uh, if you challenge me, be prepared to lose. Anyway guys, as you guys can read by today's title, it is going to be another exposing video, but this time it's a little bit different than what we normally have on the channel. Normally we just expose people on Instagram or other YouTubers and stuff like that, but this time we're going to expose an entire company or brand or whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know if you guys have heard, but recently 14,000 pairs of fake sneakers were seized at a port in Los Angeles. Now the fake sneakers there were mainly off-white Jordans. Now we all know how expensive off-white Jordans are. I mean, like we got the Chicago's, the European exclusive white colorway and the UNC's. They are very, very, very expensive. So obviously there's a lot of manufacturers who create fake versions. I mean, ironically enough, uh, from the article, the way that Customs was able to figure out that the shoes were fake was because they thought that the actual stitching on the Nike sign looked cheap. <laughs> Which is kind of a, you know, a dig at a Virgil, but I mean, not everybody understands hype and sneakers and stuff. So, I mean, we'll give them a pass. And I'm happy that they were able to seize 14,000 pairs of fake sneakers that could be on the market today. But today we're not gonna be talking about that. That was just to set a precedent for today's video that off-white Jordans, as you guys know, are super hype, super expensive, super limited, and people are always trying to make fakes of them. Now there is this brand called Steve Madden. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of Steve Madden. It's a very, very popular brand. Typically they make dress shoes. I know they have some running shoes and stuff like that, but that's pretty much what they're known for. I think they make men's and women's shoes, but um, this time they've crossed the line yet again. Now, a long time ago, they had made this sneaker that looked like a Yeezy. It was made to resemble a Turtle Dove, I wanna say, and maybe there was a pirate black colorway, I'm not sure, but that was like the biggest clown move in the sneaker game at that time. And it was crazy, like I posted about it. It was, I think it was a couple years ago, like around when the V1s were dropping. And then the, I'm pretty sure that they dropped a V2 version. I mean, I'm not a thousand percent sure. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have the editor in the background, uh, AKA me, um, find out if there was a V2, but I'm pretty sure it was a V1 and a V2, but I I'm not a thousand percent sure. So, I mean, I'm just rambling, but it's uh, probably been on the, the screen this whole time. So once again, Steve Madden has crossed the line. And to be honest, I did a little bit of research on them and see where I could buy them kind of as a joke. But I mean, when I went on their website, it was just hilarious. Just like the comments was just, we, we, ha we have to go through them. It's, it's, it's too funny. We, we can't just like leave it alone, you know? All right guys, so now we're gonna go on Steve Madden's website and here we have the quote, Malone Red Multi. I mean, it seems like this guy can't even think of a original name. I mean, he had to use the same rap generator as Post Malone to create his name, the Malone Red Multi. Like, come on, bro. Anyway, we're off to a bad start. This is a complete ripoff of the original colorway of the Off-White Jordan. 
even down to like the off-white coloring on the heel to using the same three colors on the entire shoe itself and giving it that kind of deconstructed look on the tab. The Off-White Jordan 1 has still kept its value and been an extremely popular shoe in the sneaker game. So I understand why people would want to make something similar to it, but this is literally a direct ripoff. I mean, it's just the Off-White Chicago 1 with a star instead of a swoosh. And so the sole is actually not a Jordan 1 sole, and it looks like a Louis Vuitton sole, in my opinion. Obviously, Steve Madden is just getting a bunch of sneakers and just like pushing them together into one to create this masterpiece i mean even the star is like such a significant like converse thing is it not and i'm pretty sure nike owns converse so this is just a complete farce like i can't even begin to talk about how terrible this is and the crazy thing is is it comes in another colorway the travis scott colorway of course so these are called the malone top or toppy Ta to topi however you pronounce that multi and i mean like if this doesn't scream travis scott to you like come on it's the same shoe steve madden didn't have to try on those man they, they just literally are a ripoff of this shoe which is also an extremely popular sneaker right now that's also very expensive and i mean it just blows my mind that he's just directly ripping off travis's design it's just ridiculous and these shoes are cheap by the way like they're not like 20 30 dollars sneakers they're 140 dollars and 95 cents that's an expensive shoe so the travis retails for 175 these retail for 140 obviously the travis resells much higher than 175 its retail price it resells for about one to two thousand dollars depending on the size and, and i just can't believe that they just completely ripped it off like that. Like, I feel like I'm on a fake website, but no, like Steve Madden is in pretty much every department store you can think of. Like I've seen them at Nordstrom's, at Macy's and stuff like that. And if I see this pair in my local mall, if this video gets to 10,000 likes, I will buy this shoe, wear it in a fit pick, I'll wear it to the next sneaker con and see how many people think I'm an idiot and uh geez I don't know what I just signed myself up for but 10,000 likes and I'll wear them to the next sneaker con and take a fit pic and uh I'll film the whole thing just so you guys can see me get absolutely wrecked by uh sneaker heads wow so it has 4.9 star reviews and it has 16 reviews and I kind of have a feeling that most of these reviews aren't of people who actually bought this sneaker I feel like most of these reviews are just Kind of a joke but let's read some of them so the first review is stuber who's a verified reviewer he gave it five stars and he said fire these are the collab of the year steve madden times travis scott times inigo times jordan times nike this guy's saying that it's a steve madden travis nigo which is like bape with like the star which i didn't even think of i was more so thinking of converse and then jordan and nike so that is hilarious. I mean, w one person disliked it, so this is probably someone who's actually trying to buy the shoe. Or Steve Madden himself was just pissed and, you know, gave it the thumbs down, but... So the second one we got is by Steve Six, a verified reviewer once again. Virgil Schmergel. Steve Madden is much more talented than that IKEA rug designing friend of Kanye's. These shoe are very cool, Steve. I honestly can't really tell if this guy is being serious or not. It really seems like he's not, but I mean, six thumbs up, four thumbs down, obviously one of them being Steve Madden himself, but that is funny. Next review is by Timmy L. And uh, <laughs> Timmy L writes, I wore these to school and everyone were laughing at me. I knew they were jealous AF. So that one has 65 likes and one dislike, which is once again, Steve Madden himself. Absolutely amazing. Virgil Abloh and Travis Scott really did their thing on these. Can't wait for my pre-order to come in so I can resell them. But guys, did we think that this shoe is actually going to resell? Low-key, we should troll the sneakerhead community and all of us should buy a pair and make them sell out. And then we should just resell them. Like, how funny would that be? Very original. When I wore these to my local sneaker event, everyone was saying stuff like, Wow, that's crazy. Where did you even find them? Very great collab. Very cute shoes. Thank you, Server Madden. I bought these and immediately after putting them on, I was the highest in the room. The website server handled the traffic perfectly. In and out. Thanks, Steve Madden. Wow, I can't believe that Steve Madden could possibly come up with such a unique colorway. If only they added pink laces. <laughs> this guy said, these go sicko mode for sure. 
These go crazy. Check out Travis's new album, Testing, to support these. Test? Oh! That is a 400 IQ meme right there. If you understood that, you're a true memester. Let's leave a review. So, we're gonna obviously give them a five star. We're gonna say, so flame, so love flame. I can't believe these shoes are still, still sitting on the website. I'm going to flip these the second I get them in the mail. OMG, OMG, I can't believe it. What are the pros of this item? Definitely cute, for sure. Um, stylish, uh, comfortable, I'm assuming. Quality and value. I wish there was a uh, checkbox for original. Not easy busta. Okay, so make sure you guys go check out my review on those shoes. If you guys want me to do an actual in-hand review and we're on a secret con, like I said, make sure this video gets to 10,000 likes. I really can't believe that this shoe exists. It actually like hurts my soul. These days, everyone's just kind of ripping each other off. I mean, when it comes to clothes and sneakers and stuff, but these are such a direct rip off that it literally just like hurts to even look at. There's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from things, but at the same time, like that is such a direct rip off. In no way is this any sort of slander towards um, Steve Madden. Like guys, don't go crazy all over their social media and start harassing them. But I mean, if you guys want to go check out that review, make sure you guys leave a like. <laughs> And then make sure you guys leave a like on today's video so I can wear those to sneaker con and absolutely embarrass myself And with all that said guys make sure you guys go check out fantasy sneaker league It would be a huge help It's the first link in my description is a super fun game I play it myself and you guys can play against me so make sure you guys go download it And with all that said guys, I'm gonna catch you guys next time Steve Madden must be stopped like today's video subscribe do all that stuff All right. Love you guys. See you next time Damn, she be playing with my mind, though Never trying to struggle cause somebody else say so Ayy, and she's all about the limelight Turn my lamp screen, asked her if that works alright Yeah, 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 yeah She be heavy on my mind cause she bad, ah, yeah I be sad, 